All right, so we're going to do one more example with curve sketching. Uh, this is going to be one with fractional powers, which some people find a little bit tricky. So the function we're going to do is x to the 4 over 3 minus 4x to the 1 over 3. Okay. So let's, um, let's get the derivatives out of the way because that's, that's a bit of work. Uh, we might do one more step with the original function, which is you can actually factor out an x to the 1 over 3. This is x times x1 to the 1 over 3, so we, we get that. So now we know that we have two intercepts, right? We know that we have intercepts are... Oops, steps at 0 and 4, and those are our x-intercepts, right? All right. First derivative, we get 4 over 3, x to the 1 over 3, minus 4 over 3, x to the minus 2 over 3. Okay, so let's factor out the 4 thirds, and then I have x to the 1 third minus 1 over x to the two-thirds. So what we need to do here is we need to get a common denominator, so we're going to multiply this one, top and bottom, by x to the two over three. And then I'm left with x minus one over x to the two over three. Okay, there's my first derivative. Um, critical points. What are they going to be? Well, the x values are going to be x equals 1 and x equals 0, right? Because 0 is in the domain of my original function, and we can see that the derivative is undefined at 0, so that makes 0 a critical number. And we might, while well, we're at it, calculate that f of 0 is 0. f of 1 is going to be 1 minus 4. It's negative 3. Okay, now's the hard work. Second derivative. We come back up to here to do the second derivative because it's a little bit easier. 1 third comes down, so that's 4 over 9, x to the minus 2 thirds. Minus minus becomes plus 8 over 9, x to the minus 5 over 3. Okay, so we can factor out 4 over 9. And then I'm left with 1 over x to the 2 thirds plus 2 over x to the 5 thirds. And once again, I can do the same kind of trick, except this time I'm going to multiply by x, x over x to get my common denominator. And I get 4 over 9, x plus 2 over x to the 5 over 3. Okay, so sign diagrams. We'll do one for f, one for f prime, one for f double prime. So we've got intercepts at zero and four. And signs go like that. For f prime, we've got critical numbers at 0 and 1. And our signs go plus, minus, minus. We don't get a sign change at 0, because that 2 in the 2 thirds gives you an even power. Make sure it stays positive. For f double prime, 
we've got minus 2, and it's undefined at 0. And here we can find that our signs are going to go plus, minus, plus. Okay, so it's, it's concave up, concave down, concave up. And so this is an inflection point. And I suppose we should try to calculate what is, uh, what is f at minus 2. It's going to be, well, it's minus 2 to the 4 thirds minus 4 times minus 2 to the 1 third. So this is it's 2 times 2 to the 1 third. Minus, minus, so the, I lose the minus sign here because the 4 is even. The 1 is odd. That minus sign sticks around, but it cancels with that one. Plus 4 times 2 to the 1 third. So it's 6 times the cube root of 2, which is, I don't know where that is, somewhere around 8 maybe. Okay, exact value is not important. Let's sketch our graph. Okay, so we're going to plot off our intercepts. We're going to mark off our critical point, which is at, um, it's a minimum down here. Okay, and we've got this inflection point, which is over, over here somewhere. Okay, and that's all the relevant information that we have, and now we just have to make sure we connect the dots. Uh, we see that this is, right, we're going from decreasing to increasing, so this is a minimum. So we're decreasing through zero. Um, so by the way, what's happening at zero? As we get close to zero, f prime is negative on both sides, and the value is becoming infinite, right, because we're dividing by zero. So that's telling me that I have a vertical tangent as I pass through zero. So what I get is something that looks like this. I'm concave down, so I'm, I'm decreasing and I'm concave up until I hit my inflection point. Then I'm concave down. I pass through my minimum, or sorry, through this critical number with a vertical tangent. Come to my minimum back up, and off I go. And that's the graph, more or less, right? It's not an art contest. Okay, um, hopefully these videos help and help to replace the ones that didn't have the audio working properly.